Hello and welcome everybody to the first episode of the new season, Monday Night Raw. Here we are, live from Houston, Texas, around the area where WrestleMania 38 took place. This is the Raw after WrestleMania 39, and Triple H is making an appearance. We saw him at the beginning of WrestleMania Goes Hollywood, or WrestleMania 39, just opening up the show, and it looks like that might be what he's here to do as well. Maybe we'll get a return of some NWO friends, or some DX friends. Let's see from Triple H here, live from Monday Night Raw. If you guys are excited, hit the like button, because I'm very excited to see what we have got in store for tonight's show. To open it up, Triple H spitting the water out of his mouth. It has been a crazy year. Big wins. Big losses from WrestleMania 39 is what we learned. And here we are. This is all the end of, of the last season. Now we are on the season premiere of Monday Night Raw. SmackDown will be coming to you later on. But here we are from Houston, Texas. Triple H the game. Will he play it? And yes, he will. Welcome to the season premiere of Monday Night Raw. Such an exciting night for the roster, the superstars, everyone in the building. Triple H says that he's very excited for uh, tonight as well. A mandatory key piece of Raw. Oh, who could this be? Triple H is even surprising me! Oh my goodness it's the raw general manager it's Samoa Joe well that's a surprise we have not seen Samoa Joe in close to a year if not a whole year looks like Joe's back for the big role so Moa Joe returns to become general manager of Monday Night Raw. What a time. He says he's back. Wow, so Moa Joe. Oh, wait a minute. Who is he talking about here? Samoa Joe, the youngest world champion of all time. The 10-time WWE champion. It's Brock Lesnar. Oh, my God. The surprises, the surprises just keep on rolling. It is Brock Lesnar. He wasn't even at Mania. Usually, we'll, we'll see Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. He did not show up the, that, that time on night two or night one. Everyone was expecting a Brock Lesnar match. And it was up until about the week before WrestleMania that everyone realized... That was not going to happen for the first time in a very long time. But here is Lesnar, one of the most feared men in the industry's history, in its timeline. Brock Lesnar nearly has beaten every single superstar to ever step foot in a wrestling ring, in the squared circle. And he almost beat Roman Reigns, who is still on his reign, and I think his days stand at about 946. But tonight we are here to talk about the 10-time world champion. And let's see what Brock Lesnar has to say. He's going to pick up a mic here. Brock Lesnar. Oh, wait a minute. Brock Lesnar talking about he hasn't beaten anyone up in a while. Joe is even questioning it. Joe's confused. Lesnar's nodding yes. And Samoa Joe's walking out. Looks like Brock Lesnar's following him to the back. What could that mean? Well, Triple H is just going to send us off to kick off the year. 
the year of sports entertainment. Triple H, is he going to do it? Yes, he is. To kick off Monday Night Raw. And here's a big one. Here is a big one. Live Monday Night Raw from Houston, Texas. We have got Kevin Owens. Now, this man, Kevin Owens, has got a point to prove. He lost to AJ Styles at WrestleMania just two nights ago on night one of WrestleMania 39. He lost to AJ Styles. AJ Styles had been drafted to uh, SmackDown. And that is the reason why he will be facing Ricochet here tonight for the United States Championship contendership. Whoever wins this match will be the number one contender for that title. And here on Raw, no one treats a mid-card title like it is a piece of garbage compared to the world title. If not, the mid-card title is more important than the world title. And Kevin Owens, that is exactly what he needs to win here tonight. If he can win this, he can become the new United States Champion. And that is the exact opportunity that he needs. As the title is currently vacated, it had been vacated for a little while now. It didn't get a match on WrestleMania either. But here comes the one and only Ricochet. This man is one of the highest flyers in WWE. One of the most entertaining sports performers in the world. Anything you can do. I will put a lot of money on it that Ricochet can do it better. He is coming down to the ring. He is the mid-card master. He's won every single mid-card championship that there is. And here tonight, he has got another chance to get the opportunity to get another one. He's won the IC title. He's won this title. He's won the North American Championship all the way back in NXT times for Ricochet. What a career that he has had since. And he will forever be known as the mid-card warrior. And the ref rings the bell and we are kicked off. Ricochet, first match of the night. First match of the season, I should say. Ricochet, missile dropkick. This is why he's the one and only quick cover. KO able to get out of it before the one count. That is definitely what you have to do to be a champion. KO sees Ricochet about to maybe even leap. And he catches him. Oh my god. Kevin Owens. We saw a little bit of that against AJ Styles. He couldn't get as much momentum as everyone had hoped for, but slamming Ricochet right into that announcer's table and just Picking up Ricochet here. What's he looking for? Right on the announce table. Ricochet. Not in good times right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. KO. Do not pick up those chairs. KO is looking at the chairs. I can see him. I'm right there. KO was thinking about looking at the, at the, at the chair. I don't know if he was thinking about picking it up or what he was going to do with it. Anyways... What a counter! Ricochet! What a counter! The DDT out of what was just supposed to be a slam right onto the ground. Ricochet jumps! Hurricane Rana! And that's what you have to do to become the one and only. I don't know if anyone else in the WWE can do as much as that. Oh my goodness. KO is in a tough time right now. His head just got slammed against the post. So, I mean, he's probably a little bit dazed. He has to be. Now he's up against the barricade. And slammed right on to that barricade. And that LED board along the side of it. Ricochet to the top of the rope. It's never a good sight for the opponent. KO's got to get up. Ricochet! Oh! Kevin Owens! He knew what was coming. See, that is a thing about the mastermind. Kevin Owens. He's more of a brawler than a mastermind. But he does have brains. 
He read it. He he said he had seen Ricochet do it just a second ago. And here's KO looking for the suplex. Will he get it? Ricochet slips right out. He's a very small uh, competitor, so he can get out of those really easy in another Hurricane Rana. Just not off the top rope this time. Ricochet taking his time and leaping when required. Ooh, a quick cover here. This could be it for the title opportunity. KO getting out of it again. Here we are on Monday Night Raw. This is the type of matches you'll be getting. KO. Oh no. He's going to drop him. Kevin Owens. That's not a good sign for Ricochet. What now? KO wants Ricochet on his feet. And he's planting him. What's he going to do? Looking for the kick to the midsection. He was looking fired up. And Ricochet. Oh. That is a nice move. Gets him onto the apron for some aerial attack and also gets KO confused out of his mind. Oh no. Kevin Owens. The match could be over right here. 6.30. No. Kevin Owens counters himself now. Knees up right before the hit. KO with the combos. Laying Ricochet out flat. Now he's going to work on the legs, maybe a little bit of a uh, technician work. KO said screw that, and now he's going to the air. He thought that he was Ricochet. Ricochet got his knees up. A couple jabs from Ricochet. Second one is blocked. Kevin Owens. Backbreaker. Oh my goodness. Kevin Owens using that size advantage. Speaking of size advantage, that senton is not going to feel too good right on to Ricochet. Oh, like a reverse stunner, I guess you could call that one. Cover, Ricochet could be out of it. Oh my goodness. Kevin Owens is flabbergasted. Ricochet gets out at just 2.9. What a match so far here to open us up. Kevin Owens, at this point he's just bullying Ricochet. Ricochet's upside down, he's got nothing to do. And KO, foot right to the jaw of Ricochet. KO to the top once again. This time he wants Ricochet up. What's he looking for here? KO! Look out! It is a diving man from the sky. And his name is Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, what a match. This is spectacular. Pop up power bomb cover. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? Still on uh, Raw. Seth Rollins. He is. He's laughing up a storm on the on the ramp over there. I I thought that Kevin Owens was his friend. I mean he's laughing on the ramp. Kevin Owens is saying, I want all of it. He's saying, come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ricochet's up. Ricochet's up. KO, look out. KO, look out. Ricochet cover. Two. Three. Oh, my God. Ricochet just stole it. Ricochet just stole it. What was that? The ref could not have counted that. The ref could not have counted. Ricochet just stole the victory. Seth Rollins, first of all, just got his own friend... The match lost. Kevin Owens needed that momentum. And Ricochet's just stolen it and he'll be getting a title opportunity. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable management from the referee there. Here comes Bronson Reed. I was about to say we're going to go to commercial break here. Bronson Reed does not look happy. Bronson Reed is coming down to the ring. Microphone in hand, and uh, he just tossed Ricochet. Wow, and here is Bronson Reed. He's saying that he wants Joe. He's saying that he wants Joe. Of course, you know, um, I I can understand the frustration of Bronson, of, of Bronson Reed here tonight. He got screwed over by the ref and Johnny Gargano last night on WrestleMania 39 absolutely screwed over he got hit with a kendo stick right to the head and I can up and I can understand the frustration oh Samoa Joe is actually coming out Samoa Joe 
actually going to make his way out here. Reed wants a match against uh, Johnny Gargano, of course, the guy he lost to. Joe says that that can't happen, but it looks like he's got a match against Seth Rollins as well. Here tonight already set up. So Bronson Reed says, why not? Why not, of course? Why would you not face Seth Rollins? It's a historic match opportunity. It is the Messiah. The Monday Night Messiah. The Drip God. It's Seth Rollins. It's the Architect. And I could seriously go on for days about the nicknames that this man has. But here we go. I guess up next, here we have... Seth Rollins versus Bronson Reed, which was on my run sheet here. Uh, just did not expect the whole ricochet thing, how uh, Bronson Reed just kind of threw him. As, you know, the size difference is pretty sub... Uh, a lot bigger. You know, Bronson Reed is... He's a few, he's a few hundred bigger. But uh, we'll see if that matters against Seth Rollins here. And Seth Rollins has beat a lot of bigger wrestlers for sure he's beat bon he's beat uh, john cena who's not you know bigger has a uh, bronson reed bigger but he's beat many big and tall wrestlers i'm sure that seth rollins can get it done here tonight but will bronson reed take it all anyways i mean bronson reed has seriously been on a tear apart from that last match that he just had against Johnny Gargano, which, in my opinion, he probably should have won. Ooh, a counter from Seth Rollins here. Again, the match kicked off. A couple jabs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Reed! Oh, no. Do not get this man angry. I guess those couple punches disrespected Bronson Reed and Bronson Reed. Tossing Rollins like he tossed Ricochet over there on the stage. And Reed wants him up. The big man's gonna run! Oh my goodness! He just threw his body into him and hoped for the best. Reed from the top! Ooh, I, I really thought he was gonna hit that. Rollins, drop kick into the corner, and another drop kick. Looks like he could be targeting the back, the back here of this match. Now abusing that uh, bottom turnbuckle that uh, Bronson Reed is stuck in here. Reed has been in a lot of screwed up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Revolution knee. He used to, used to be the ripcord knee. Seth Rollins, that was universal champion Seth Rollins, not saying that he can't do it again because it's always a possibility. But Bronson Reed in trouble. Wait a minute, no he's not. He could have a chance, and they're just throwing strikes back and forth. Oh my goodness! The big strike, the bigger strike, always wins. Bronson Reed is not happy tonight. He is not happy tonight. Not even to see Seth Rollins. Bronson Reed usually isn't like this. Usually, Bron Bronson Reed is a bit more happier, but I can understand his frustrations and his upsettingness. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if that's a word, but Seth Rollins, he's able to get out. Honestly, I'm not sure how. Uh-oh, Bronson Reed's looking a little bit fired up here, and that's not a good sign for Seth Rollins. My God, just tossed him right over his shoulder. Oh, my goodness, and the headbutt rains down. Bronson Reed is just such a dominant superstar. Look at this. Only occasionally. Does he lose? He rarely loses. Oh my god. He looked like Vader with that one, just not in the corner of the ring, or even Yokozuna. Out of the ring, no. Seth Rollins hangs on. Reverses that. Rollins up to the top. You can definitely beat big men by the aerial attack, but Reed knows it way too well. Bronson Reed has been here before. He's been here before. The spinning punch to gain some momentum. One. Ref does not get to two. And the architect has kicked out. My golly. What a night it has been so far. Oh my goodness. 
Bronson Reed just threw Seth Rollins out on the apron just to bring him back in, just to drag him on back in. The frustration is a little bit visible from Bronson Reed. He's kind of just throwing some of these punches are just kind of wild. And Seth Rollins, he's able to knock him over. The big man is down. The big man is down. He's back up just to be knocked back down. Reed is in a world of high flying at the moment. As a big man, you've got to be ready, ready for this. Seth Rollins. Could he be targeting the limbs? Let's see here. Oh, back to the stomp. Rollins. He's been trying to gain back all of his momentum. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Pedigree. Pedigree on Bronson Reed. Turns him around. This could be it. One. Two. No. What in the hell? Reed just kicked out. Got the shoulder up before the count of two. Rollins is outraged. Rollins is just laughing. He's just laughing. I don't even know why he's laughing. Why is he laughing? Bronson Reed fighting back. But Rollins! He just took down the big man again. Could Seth Rollins be Reed's kryptonite? Is it a possibility? Wait a minute. I think I just jinxed him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I might have done so. Could Bronson Reed be looking for it? He's going up to the top. Could he be looking for the... No. Oh my god. Still, the impact is impeccable. Oh my goodness. I thought for a second there he might have been looking for the splash. He might have been looking for the splash and another headbutt from Reed. It was just an elbow drop. Just another 400 pounds dropped right onto Seth. Freaking Rollins. So it doesn't really matter. Either way, he's gonna take a beating. Rollins saw it coming that time. The headbutt does not connect. Rollins kicked to the midsection. Into the ropes. Curb. Stomp. He's got Reed out cold. Just pin him, Seth. Pin him. He's gonna drag him away from the ropes. A veteran move. But do not give Bronson Reed too much time. This could be it. Two. No. Two and a half. For the architect. Seth Rollins. He's just shocked. I mean, I am too. That's, 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 some, that's some real skill. If you can actually gen genuinely kick out of a curb stomp. From Seth Rollins at two and a half. I mean, that's insane. Most people would be kicking out at 300. That's just out of this world. But Bronson Reed into the ropes. Drop kick from Rollins. He is not letting up on the pace. Rollins using everything he's learned go going against huge opponents bigger than him. Like, like we had talked about earlier. He is a mastermind. He is a, a messiah. He is a manipulator. Rollins is an in-ring legend, but Reed could care less. He could give a damn. Reed, top rope, splash, splash, cover, two, three. Reed has just defeated the Monday Night Messiah. My goodness. What a victory. He lost one, won the next. So it didn't really matter. Huge win for uh, Bronson Reed. But what does this mean for Bronson Reed and Johnny Gargano? Reed's still looking for answers. He's still looking for answers. Reed fired up. Exhausted, but still fired up. Who is this? I think Samoa Joe could be making his way down here any second. There he is. Bronson Reed got what he called for. Joe is finally here. Bronson Reed, it sounds like he could he could be getting a match. Samoa Joe saying that he could possibly be getting a match against Gargano at the next pay-per-view. Wait a minute, hey! Hey! What, what, what is this? That's Johnny Gargano! It's Johnny Wrestling! Came out of nowhere! 
just to stab Joe in the back. That's his general manager. Samoa Joe could get Gargano fired for all he cares. Bronson Reed is making his way out. He's wondering if he should go ahead and get Gargano's ass. He's wondering. He's thinking about it. Oh, and he's going. Gargano's asking for it. Gargano wants Bronson Reed. He's trying to get into his head. And I think that Bronson Reed is just biting into it slowly but surely. Reed gets a punch. Oh, and the brawl has begun. The brawl has begun. Bronson Reed getting hands on, on Gargano. Gargano gets free from security. And they're throwing haymakers. Gotta be held back by officials. And yes, what you just saw right there was correct. Braun Breaker and Isaiah Swerve Scott making their main roster debuts. But let's just cut to the chase. We've got Bianca Belair. And let me tell you a little bit about Bianca Belair these past few weeks lately. She has not been acting the same. We are used to the nice, the EST of WWE. The polite EST of WWE, Bianca Belair, the Raw Women's Champion. But over these past few weeks, she has just... She has just not been the same. She has been acting very, very differently, and I think that her, that her ego might have gotten to her. I don't know what's gotten into her, but... I mean, a champion's a champion. Bianca Belair is still one of the best in the company. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Could it be? It's Shotzi Blackheart. Shotzi Blackheart, she heard Open Challenge and she heard Bianca Belair's music and she came running out in that tank and the ballsy badass is here to attend an Open Challenge. Bianca Belair announcing her official EST Open Challenge for the Raw Women's Championship every week it looks like. And here is the first competitor. Shotzi, she does not care who she's going with. She could go against Trish Stratus, Shayna Baszler, Ronda Rousey, and Becky Lynch all in the same night. And she would do it. All in ladders matches. Five ladders matches in one night. She would do it. Shotzi Blackheart does not care. And what a matchup that we're going to have. I don't think that we've seen this matchup ever. And it is for that gold belt right there. Bianca Belair, she's going against a feisty opponent. This could be the last time that she holds on to that Raw Women's Championship for a little while. She's going against the ballsy badass. And I don't know if she knows the intensity that Shotzi can take it to. While her win-loss record is not amazing, like I had just said, the intensity is what matters. I don't know if Bianca Belair is ready for what Shotzi has exactly, uh, compared to people like people like Ronda Rousey or Charlotte, but we're about to find out right now. Shotzi, she sees the title. She's been in some pretty big matches before. But this has got to be the biggest one. Raw after WrestleMania championship match here. What an opportunity. The bell has been rung. And both women just staring each other down so far. Walking into the middle of the ring. Oh, Bianca, Bianca Belair wants it, I think. I think she... Oh, and a slap and a punch right to the gut. Shotzi's not having any of it. Shotzi is not just going to take that. Bianca Belair's unloading. Oh no, oh no, Bianca Belair using the strength that she is the strongest 
of the WWE. Bianca Belair is just she's she's uh, a pretty unstoppable champion. Whenever she gets the belt, whenever she gets the belt, it's pretty much guaranteed that she will hang on to it for some months. Oh my goodness! Look at that. That is a Shotzi Blackheart type of move. Maybe that's what uh, sh uh, Bianca was going for there. Shotzi, not exactly in control so far, which is not good for her, but Bianca Belair is just manhandling her and just brings her out just to bring her right back in. Bianca Belair just teasing, just teasing Shotzi Blackheart with that one. Oh no, oh no. Still using that strength. Oh, a quick cover. Shoulders down. One. Shotzi. Able to get out. Oh, and she's going to roll out of the ring. I mean, that that is the smart thing to do. Bianca Belair is saying that she's going to break Shotzi Blackheart. So, I mean, it's probably a pretty bright idea. Shotzi misses the super kick. Jawbreaker connects, though. And that's going to take down Bianca Belair. A few kicks. And there's the big one. Shotzi Blackheart, the thing about her, she does not let up. Once she gets into control, she's going to keep on going no matter what. She is going to keep on going. Oh, into the ropes. There goes Bianca. No, she's going to get out of the way. Running Bulldog from Bianca. And Shotzi rolls right out of the way of that one. Some punches, many punches, a fury of punches. And that big one doesn't even take down Bianca. That one does. Here comes Blackhearts. What a move. In the corner. She's going to get a cover. I would too off of that type of move. You could get a title because of it. Two count though on Bianca Belair. That's got to be some sort of motivation for Shotzi. Oh man. Now this is where she excels. This is where Shotzi Blackheart excels, jumps over Bianca Belair, jumps over her just to get her from behind. Wow. What a play there from Blackheart. Jumps over Bianca just for safety and backstabs her, but a spearing takedown. Bianca's just making it look too easy against a person like Shotzi. Oh, and a slap and another chop in a forearm. Taken down. The challenger knees up. Shotzi Blackheart learned from a little bit earlier in the matchup. Here, code breaker. Probably not supposed to say that. It's against copyright. Oh, Bianca Belair playing possum. Slam in the head of Shotzi right into the ground. My God, tonight has been crazy. And Bianca's only making it even crazier. Look at Bianca. Oh my goodness. She's going to get the cover off of it. Could this be it? Two. Two count barely. And Blackheart's out of it. Blackheart is out of the pin. But here comes Bianca. Watch out. First row. Could have gotten a flying Blackheart right into the barricade. Clothesline. Bianca Belair rushed right out there to get some, mo some momentum. Against Shotzi there. Right into the barricade she goes. Bianca Belair is going to have a fun time out here. And a spear. Right into that LED board. Right into a snapmare. Knee right to the back. Bianca Belair just being the technician. The brawler. The fighter that she is. She really does it all. Oh. We don't see her do this too often. Elbow drop. Bianca Belair doesn't oftenly go up go up to the to the highest of heights but she did right there and she wants Shotzi up she's not happy oh no not this anything but this my god just the disrespect in that mo oh and she's gonna blow the kiss to Shotzi this is what I'm talking about the disrespect from Bianca Belair these past few weeks no don't do it Belair setting up she's blowing a kiss to, to the ballsy badass and that's it. No. She's got to get out of it, KOD. Shotzi did not have time to react. She did not know where she was. Cover to Bianca Belair retains the Raw Women's Championship. What a fight.
I mean, Shotzi, she, she had, she had her chance. She put up a fight, and w whoa, wait, what the? It's, it's Rhea Ripley. What in the world? She's just stomping out Bianca Belair. Rhea Ripley's back, and she's after Bianca. What in the hell? Well, she's after the title. No matter where we go, what venue we're in, everyone will be on their feet for the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Everyone's on their feet. He's coming off of a huge WrestleMania win against the long rival. Tommaso Ciampa from last night and man that was a crazy match that was a crazy match it was a brawl both bleeding just literally last night and Cody Rhodes is fully recovered it looks like he's probably a little bit beat up but I mean here he is he looks all right He's got a few things to say. Of course, Texas, just a great spot for Cody Rhodes. And he's also going to talk about his WrestleMania 39 victory as well. Just a great place for him in his heart, especially because of his big return. Oh, wait a minute. Cody Rhodes? Cody... He's, he, wants, he wants the WWE Champion to come, out, to, to come on out here. He wants the WWE Champion to come on out. Oh. Oh no. Wait a minute. It's a familiar face. Randy Orton is back. Orton hasn't been here since last year with that injury in about June or July. And he hasn't been here since and he's he's staring down Cody. It does feel a little bit like like uh, oh, oh 09 with Legacy. Oh, apparently Bobby Lashley's not here tonight. I th I thought he was supposed to be here. Randy Orton's talking about Legacy 2.0. He's trying to team up with Cody again. Cody, he, he could be being smart. I'm not sure. At the end of the day, it is Randy Orton, and he is a legend. So not teaming up with him could be a big mistake. Oh, Cody's taking shots. Wow. Cody possibly stating just the facts. Oh, Randy Orton, he's he's getting mad. He's getting a little bit frustrated. This is not what he came out here to do. Now Cody, now he wants to, Co Cody to help him and Riddle. Cody Rhodes also caught on to that. Yeah, I mean. At the end of the day, Randy Orton is a manipulator. I mean, be careful for what you wish for. What is what is that supposed to mean? Randy Orton just Oh my god! No! No! Randy Orton just RKO'd Cody! Randy Orton says, because if you knew me, you would have stopped me! Oh, here comes the bro! Riddle! He's coming out here to save Cody. Randy realizes he's he's pancaked here. He's absolutely pancaked. He's looking at Riddle. What what will Orton's decision be? 
What will the what what will the viper choose? He's gonna choose the other way. Cody Rhodes is down. Randy Orton could have either gone with Riddle or himself. He chose himself. Riddle's trying to talk him out of this. He you have to. Randy's not having any of it. Riddle now taunting Orton. And Orton's saying, watch your back. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but Orton's walking away. I mean, wow. What a time. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Orton just RKO'd Rhodes twice. And Riddle and Cody, a possible alliance. At least they're now friends. Orton and Riddle, not exactly. That's going to have some work done. But everybody... Do you want to hear it? Do you want to hear it? Because tonight is what you've all been waiting for. The main event of the evening, folks. We've got Austin Theory versus the Beast Incarnate. They're returning. Brock Lesnar here tonight. Theory. If, man, if, if, if Theory... Just if, if Theory can defeat the youngest world champion of all time, which Theory actually had a chance to do, he did not do it. Lesnar did. He beat The Rock. Lesnar beat The Freaking Rock. But Theory's got a chance to defeat the guy that beat The Rock. The guy that defeated The Streak. Brock Lesnar. Everyone's been sitting in their seats, and I, I man, I mean, I guess this is probably what Samoa Joe went in, went went into the back for. He might have talked it out with uh, Lesnar, talked out the match that he was gonna have tonight. Probably why why Lesnar followed him into the back earlier on, about forty about uh, forty minutes earlier. Lesnar's making his way down to the squared circle here, and Lesnar, man, this this guy is menacing. Austin Theory, he always brags, he always thinks that he's menacing, that he's worthy of the WWE Championship. And then there's guys like Brock Lesnar that just laugh at him. And it's definitely a reasonable thing to uh, to laugh at um, if if anyone uh, rem re remembers a flashback to the elimination chamber of 2022 Lesnar chased after theory as theory ran away cowardly and Lesnar just tossed him around uh, being the way that he won the elimination chamber in that year and Brock Lesnar's here to defeat and toss around Theory once again on his road to reclaim what is his. Theory needs to lock in. Theory has got to lock in tonight. He cannot have any mistakes. And here we are for the main events of the evening. Oh, they're just staring at each other here. They are. I would love to see a test of strength between these two. Oh, Brock says here, throw a throw a throw. Lesnar's fired up. That wasn't a good idea. I think this is the point where Theory starts to shiver in his boots a little bit. This is the point where you exit the ring. Belly to belly. My God. Lesnar says, this is really what you send me out here for? Oh no. Can we get a suplex counter? That's already one. We're, we're not even 20 seconds into the match. That's already one. And there's another clothesline. Listen, I'll I'll give you this is number two. I'll give you this. Theory is definitely a talented wrestler, and he can definitely wrestle. Oh, oh no, he just slapped Lesnar. Oh, Lesnar's just being sarcastic. Theory, Theory taking Lesnar off guard. Oh no, that slap was a mistake. It might be looking like it had paid off now, but. I think that might have been a mistake. I think, oh my god! The strength of Theory! Theory does a flip 
Theory lands on Lesnar. That's how this match is going to have to go. Okay, that's not that promising. Austin Theory's going to back up. And he's pacing. He's shivering. He has to be at this point. Lesnar just kicked out at 0 0.5. I mean, there's not much else that you can do about that. Theory? Ooh. A nice little knee or a kick right to the chin. That's a very, very good, very good move to do against a guy like Brock Lesnar. And Lesnar's countered. Oh, he can't counter the kicks. The kicks are too much. But is this too much? No. He gets the one count probably off of Brock strictly being dazed and a little bit stunned there. Now he's going to pick up Brock. Let's see what he does with him here. Let's see what he does with him here. Theory. Oh, man. A brain buster. Austin Theory. The now is what everyone who is in his corner, at least, likes to call him, Lesnar learned, gets his knees up. It's even what he likes to call himself, which is absolutely sick. Brock Lesnar, that's the third German suplex of the night. My goodness. Maybe we should get a clothesline counter, too. This is just disgusting. This is just disgusting. This is mayhem. Oh, my God. Look at, look at Theory's folded body. Look at his folded body. Lesnar just got a two count off of that. And Theory got a two count off of what he's doing. No, he, he got a one count. Theory got a damn one count. Absolutely pathetic so far. In my personal opinion. They're going to lock up here. Lesnar is just... He's just destroying Theory right now. I don't know what Theory's going to do to get out of this. Oh, oh, submission. Submission. Lesnar's wrenching... On the neck and the and like the the uh, the chin of Austin Theory, he's got to be able to get out of this. He's been in it for nearly ten seconds. This is looking dangerous. Oh, he just tripped up Brock right onto that bottom rope. Oh, he's throwing punches. He's gotten brave. Theory's gotten. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. That's really not good. Theory. He probably had a little bit of uh, adrenaline there because Brock Lesnar just sent him to Suplex City. That's six Germans on the night. Yes, I am definitely keeping count tonight. Lesnar taking him to Suplex City. And Brock Lesnar is not a guy to mess around. Brock Lesnar's not that type of guy. F5. Cover. That's it. Oh my goodness. Theory, really? Oh, Lesnar's not happy with the ref. He's saying, come on, that his hand was not even on the rope. Come on. Just give me the count. I'm beating this guy up right now. And yes, he is. The ground and pound. Oh, God. Oh, God. We've seen Randy Orton be in this type of situation back in SummerSlam of 2016. Busted open in the first five minutes. It was an absolute massacre. He knocked him down. Theory strength is being shown here tonight. And it is shocking. Theory is knocking down Lesnar with just a singular punch. That punch has got a lot of a lot of pack in it. Oh my goodness, in the forearm. A little bit of momentum on that one. Middle of the ring, another cover. I think Theory's just trying to end this match as fast as possible. I don't even know if he got a one count there, to be honest. I think it's just getting worse and worse for him. If I'm Theory in this situation, I'm taking I'm I'm definitely gonna have to take the the, the count out loss. Just wait the ten seconds, man. At this point. He's showing off a little bit. I don't know if that's what you want to do. Knee right to the side of the face. Look at the strength. Look at the strength. Austin Theory. Oh. Theory. Theory's renovating. Theory is renovating. He is. He is refurbishing this furniture. Moving it all off. We're putting something else onto the announcer's table here tonight. But which one will it be? Theory's fired up and he's ready to do it to Lesnar. Okay, that didn't go so well. Theory's leg caught right on the step. This is... This is not good for Theory. Theory's being lifted up by Brock, the farmer. Oh no. Just like KO did to Ricochet this time. This table is exposed. 
This is just, this is a massacre. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Lesnar could have ended the match so long ago. He could have ended this match so easily. But he's back and he's ready. He smells blood. And he's going to go out and get it. And the first one he's going to go and get. Looks like the ref might be at a six count almost there. Brock had to break it. Of course he did. You know, he could have he could have just let Theory lie down there and let him suffer. But instead, he's got to make him suffer. Seven German suplexes on the night. And I'm sure that we'll see more. I mean, with Brock Lesnar, you can never be too sure about that, that kind of stuff. Tossing Theory. This is... This is up. Oh my goodness, we actually are seeing more. I didn't even expect it. Eight German suplexes. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This is this is just terrible. This is terrible. Lesnar is just manhandling Theory. He's making Theory look bad. I promise you Theory's really not this bad of a superstar. F5. That's it. Night Night Theory. Two, congratulations, Brock Lesnar, for beating Theory's ass. Lesnar, no emotion. He does this on the daily whenever he's actually here. He does this on the weekly. He does it on the hourly. He does it all the time. Wait a minute. What is this? What is, what is this?